year marks a special year for Crufts. It's the 120th anniversary of the event. Crufts has come a long way since it was founded in 1891 by Charles Cruft. Back then, there were just 2,437 entries and 36 breeds. Now Crufts is the largest dog show in the world, with almost 22,000 dogs expected at the NEC this year, from the tiny Chihuahua to the towering Great Dane. Three quarters of the dogs will be competing for the ultimate accolade in the world of dogs, DFS Best in Show, which was won last year by the Hungarian Vizsla Yogi, handled by John Thirlwell. It's Yogi. Oh, the Hungarian Vizsla Yogi's Best in Show. The only prize is his eluded him, and now he's got it. Best in Show. Uh, we won Best in Show um, with the Hungarian Vizsla that I handled for some friends, and uh, it's just been a fantastic year. You know, achievement of a lifetime. She's um, nearly three year old now. She has um, two challenge certificates, she needs one more to become a champion. Uh, so she, was, uh, she wasn't shown very much until about halfway through last year because I showed her sister and who became the top last the last year. Um, so she sort of come out to try and take over from her sister. But Crufts is not just about showing. Dogs and owners take part in a variety of competitions such as agility, heel work to music and fly ball over the four days. Crufts even has its own Oscar winner. Karina the Corgi starred in this year's box office hit The King's Speech, sharing the stage with best actor Colin Firth. Oh yes, I, I met the actor and um, Colin was very nice. He, he's got an Italian wife apparently so he came to chat to me in Italian. Um, I, I'm, it speaks very nice Italian, very posh Italian. But it was not all plain sailing on set. Colin was sitting on the Sears Shears Lounge and uh, he got up in a temper to run towards this chest of drawers to, to pick up something. And um, the noise was so bad, Ella ran out of the room, Karina jumped on his lap. I can never forget that because he said that thing. She liked me, doesn't she? <laughs> of course, they were cleaning off all the air quickly. Today it was doggy business as usual, as Karina and Maria took part in the team obedience events representing the West. The Young Kennel Club were demonstrating their skills today with the final of the Agility Dog of the Year, being won by Megan Young and Shadow from Northumberland. Um, <laughs> just like over the moon. I'm just. I'm actually shaking. I, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, just, I'm thrilled. <laughs> the highlight for many of the visitors to the arena today was the heel work to music, emphasising the agility and intelligence of man's best friend. Competing to music, the winners Richard Curtis and Pogo displayed a unique communication, proving their outstanding performance to win. Favourite of the week, the Kennel Club Breeders' Competition attracted the highest quality in both breeding and versatility. The 2011 winner, Hilda Monaghan, was overwhelmed by the judges' choice. The most coveted award of the day was the winner of the Gun Dog Group, and it was John Irwin from Edinburgh who took the prize with his dog Jet, and will now be competing for Best in Show on Sunday. Famous dog show in the world, and I think you'd probably say also the largest. Yeah. So, to win here, it's... Uh, I once said to somebody recently that to win a group at any UK general championship shows a marvellous achievement for any exhibitor, but to do so at Cross 